Hey boys and girls, welcome to another AWS tutorial. Uh, in this one, we're going to talk about multi-factor authentication and how we can set up for our account. So, what is multi-factor authentication? Uh, it's a simple best practice that adds an extra layer of protection on top of your user and password. So, let's say we, you guys are already logged into your account, and from there to be able to set up the MFA multi-factor authentication we gotta go to our IAM services once you get there uh, go down to the user you or select the user you wanna set up uh, MFA authentication on in my case it's gonna be this user account uh, which is my user account um, when you open the page then you go to the security credentials and this one will point you to an assign MFA device as you guys can see there's none in my case and I'm gonna choose the virtual MFA device because it's uh, for free let's say and you can install it on your phone you can have it installed anywhere else so as you can see on the right hand side you can uh, in my case I'll choose to use uh, Google MFA which is for free and it integrates with um, Amazon account beautifully and it never fail on you unless you're gonna lose your phone and then you're in big trouble because you won't be able to log in into your account so just guy you guys for example I'm on Android you just type Google and F it's kind of slow because I'm typing and filming in the same time it's kind of awkward <laughs> So Google and FA, that's it. Just install it. It's as uh, simple as that. It takes a few seconds to set up. And once you have it installed, in order for you to co to um, configure it and sync it with your AWS account, you just have to read that barcode that you see there. Okay, you can skip this information. And add an account. Choose the option scan a barcode, and you're gonna scan the barcode that um, is shown to you on the computer screen. And there you go. There you, he's gonna provide you with some random authentication code. So we're gonna skip that one and punch in some authentication code in that were given to us by the MFA. Type in the second code. All right, I'm waiting for it to refresh. That's why it's taking a couple of uh, seconds. And activate virtual MFA. There you go. This is what we wanted to see. All right, let's try to log in again. And this time we're gonna see that. Uh, beside our user uh, user account and password um, AWS will uh, ask you for the MFA code as well so what you're gonna do you're gonna open your phone open the app select the account it's gonna generate your MFA code and submit and voila we're connected 